我为台湾歌乡来。我这摆当马杰公开说，马杰公开说，马杰公开说，马杰公开说，马杰公开说。Welcome to the Institute. Hamburg, gateway to the world. A world in which the process of globalization no longer ends with the activities of international firms. Rather, it is a process impacting the daily life and activities of an ever-growing spectrum of individuals. That entails legal obligations and, consequently, conflicts which extend beyond national borders. The researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Comparative and International Private Law. Analyze legal systems from throughout the world, comparing them and searching for possibilities to harmonize the law. Regardless of whether it relates to the development of the European single market or the interdependence of multinational corporations and financial institutions, the growing internationalization of daily life demands new approaches in all areas of private law. Under the leadership of the three directors Holger Fleischer, Reinhard Zimmermann, and Jürgen Barzado, the institute is making significant contributions to the international development of private law. It can build upon a rich history. The institute was founded in 1926. Its first home was the Berlin City Palace. Ernst Rabe, one of the 20th century's most renowned jurists, was the institute's first director. His book entitled Das Recht des Warenkaufs was a milestone on the path towards the international unification of sales law. A tremendous increase in number of cross-border legal uh, situations. Uh, think also of international finance, of multinational enterprise, but also in the private sector of marriages with foreign spouses. Of、uh, condos located in foreign resorts, in all these situations, litigation may come up, and then certain issues will invariably arise. Where are the competent courts? What is the law they apply? Will their decisions be effective in other countries? These issues are answered by private international law, and our institute is doing research in these fields. Not only under、uh, the heading of existing rules, but also in view of future legislation at the national, at the European, and also at the international level. Through symposia, conferences, and working groups, the Max Planck Institute for Comparative and International Private Law fosters an ongoing exchange with legal scholars from around the world. A scholarly foundation is thus laid long before policymakers and legislators create new laws. Basic research is independent from any particular case. It is triggered by the interest of the individual scholar and by his prediction about what future developments of the law will be. We know that legal developments are much slower; they are much longer than political decision making. Therefore, we need. Legal reflection, scholarly research, basic research in law before political decision making can start. In this way, the institute generates the knowledge that is necessary in order to understand the broad picture, as well as its specific features. The institute also makes concrete proposals for the future. New legislation must be prepared thoroughly. Our institute plays its part in this, providing comparative law expertise and explaining successful international examples. Requests come from federal government ministries, the European Commission, or the German Federal Constitutional Court. Current company law projects include closed cooperation. Rescission suits in stock corporation law and legal issues of business valuation. For such tasks, the institute forms specialized teams. Their research topics affect individuals and businesses across the world. A current area of emphasis is the harmonisation of European private law.
In Germany, we apply the BGB, the big German book, in France, the Code Civil, and in England, the uncodified common law. Why do we have such a variety of national legal systems? Why are the same legal problems solved differently in different countries? Or are these differences perhaps more apparent than real? An approach that is both historical and comparative is required in order to answer these questions. That will allow us better to understand the present situation of our law and such understanding will facilitate the emergence of a European private law and private law scholarship. For Ernst Rabel, this was a vision still far off in the future. But even then, in his methods and research topics, he was already breaking new ground. Rechtsvergleichung, das ist wie wenn wir ins Gebirge kommen. Mit Freude merkt man, wie das schwer durchdringliche Dickicht der Paragraphen sich reliefartig aufrollt. Je höher, desto übersichtlicher die Landschaft. Ernst Rabel was well known for evocative phrases. Just as in Caspar David Friedrich's painting, his high vantage point allowed him to observe features which others could not see. The researchers of the Institute explore the differences and the similarities of the legal systems in the world. One of the projects to which the members of the entire Institute have contributed is the Max Planck Encyclopedia of European Private Law. In that encyclopedia and its German predecessor volume, we have gathered and analyzed the information available in many different areas, contract law, succession, company law, insurance law, and so on, and in many disciplines, comparative law, legal history, European community law. Thus, we hope to have paved the way towards a further Europeanization of private law and private law scholarship. The Institute focuses on legal systems around the globe, including, for example, the USA and the European Union. In southeastern Europe, new legal systems are emerging as a result of the collapse of socialism, autonomous development, or the reception of foreign law. Russia is transforming from the planned economy of a socialist state to a modern market economy. How can the legacy of socialism be overcome? The Institute combines an expertise in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean law, which is unique in Europe. Will there be a regional legal harmonization within the framework of an economic community? In Latin America, the European legal culture has predominated for centuries, but is it adequate for the region's complex social reality? South Africa features a mixed legal system with roots in Roman Dutch as well as English law. How does such a sophisticated Western legal system cope with radical social change? And finally, the Near and Middle East tension at the intersection of religion and society. How can the law help to resolve the conflicts? This is a question studied by an institute research group led by Dr. Najma Yassari. The efforts of the scholars involved are dedicated to topics such as the law relating to marriage and to children. The Max Planck Research Group on Family and Succession Laws in Islamic Countries questions the myth of the immutability of Islamic law. Can religious law be changed? Under the title Changes in God's Law, the group is investigating various aspects of family law. We have chosen an interdisciplinary approach and we are looking at Islamic countries only. By choosing this approach, we aim to obtain a fuller and less distorted picture of family law which reflects the true dynamic of legal development in these countries. Researchers in the Institute have at their disposal one of the world's finest collections of literature on private law, totaling more than 500,000 volumes. The Institute's library features books and periodicals on private law and business law from the approximately 200 countries around the globe. It holds subscriptions to roughly 2,000 legal journals, Additionally, it collects the relevant statutes, court decisions and monographs. 
The two oldest volumes date from the early 16th century. The collection is regularly expanded and refined. Visitors from every continent come to the library because of its unique holdings. The Institute is a very important place for scholars worldwide and therefore a lot of young and old uh, uh, researchers come to Hamburg to search here because uh, they have a lot of friends here uh, at the Institute and the library the Institute is uh, really fantastic. This is like oasis. The results of the work conducted at the Institute are disseminated in an array of publications. A specially created unit coordinates personnel and resources and charts new projects with the responsible editors, authors and publishers. Print-ready book and journal submissions are prepared with native speakers reviewing English language publications. Working together with the editorial team, researchers oversee the ambitious program of publications. The common goal? formulating answers to newly emerging questions. The directors are committed to fostering academic exchange with junior researchers. Encouraging the next generation of researchers is very important to us. Many of our own senior researchers have moved on to become law professors themselves in Germany and abroad. For all postdocs studying comparative or international private law, we host an international colloquium every year. Alternating between German and English, this opportunity to meet and discuss their own work enjoys great popularity across Europe. The contacts formed here are broadly based and enduring. Guests and former fellows will often return, having become lifelong members of the Institute family. In turn, Members of the Institute go abroad for research visits. There's a lively exchange with excellent institutions from around the world. Kyoto, Florence or Oxford and Cambridge, where many of today's rowers on the Alster first took up the sport. Students from the neighbouring University of Hamburg and the Butzerius Law School come to the Institute. In turn, Many members of the Institute teach in these places. Joint research projects and study programs forge bonds. The staff and all the directors make a point of being available to scholarship recipients and guests from abroad. Was besonders uh, hier ist, ist, dass die Direktoren auch und auch die Professoren sehr nett sind und geben auch hier die Zeit uh, zu diskutieren. The Institute welcomes more than a thousand guests annually. 80 workstations in two modern reading rooms are reserved for their use. Man kann nicht nur die Gäste kennenlernen im Lesesaal oder beim Kaffee trinken, sondern auch die Wissenschaftler, die hier arbeiten. We come from a, from a court where we have a, a limited company, only one another, and the one-stop uh, way to change that is to come to, to uh, the Max Planck here, where you meet people from all over the world. Research for our future, in Germany, Europe and around the world. The Max Planck Institute for Comparative and International Private Law.